All right, we got 500 rounds here today to put through the brand new P365X macro from SIG. This is the one with the comp and the red dot. But if you wanna carry a gun, I always think you should test it out and make sure it's reliable. So we got 500 rounds here today. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot all this and make sure it's reliable before I start carrying it. This thing is brand new, just picked it up yesterday. And I am gonna put this as my concealed carry gun. It will be replacing my P365 XL, which we'll talk about here in a sec. A Little bit more casual range day here, but let's go over what ammo we're gonna be using as well as the setup here. For the 500 rounds we're gonna use here, we have in this crate here, this was sent to us from cheapgunclub.com. This is Igman 124 grain full metal jacket ammo. Definitely great for plinking, shooting, training, and that's exactly what we're using it for here today. So a big thank you to cheapgunclub.com for sending this out. And again, go check them out if you need some ammo. To do some drills with this, unfortunately, I did not pick up a new holster yet, but I really like these TXC holsters. This is the one for my P365XL with the flashlight on it. So this actually can go in here. It's definitely not <laughs> a good fit, but for today, I just wanna do some draws with it. So this will get the job done for at least doing that. But later this week, I'm definitely gonna order a new TXC holster for the macro specifically, so that way I can actually carry this. Lastly, before we get to shooting, I know a lot of people will just take this out of the box and start shooting, but I am actually going to lube this up first here because I don't trust the lube or whatever that comes with it from the factory. So to help out with this, I have some lubrication here. This is some liquid drip here, makes it super easy to apply. So I'm just gonna put it on the major spots for the slide and also here on the frame. Awesome, with it all lubed up here, let's actually get loaded up. I have three magazines for the macro here. It only came with two, but I had one extra one from my P365XL. So let's get them loaded and let's start shooting. All right, let's get the first shots in here, but I am gonna confirm zero real quick on the target. But then after that, we'll get to some heavy shooting. So it's so new and stiff, you cannot insert the 17 round mag and then cock it. You actually have to <laughs> lock the slide back first then insert the full mag, and then it chambers. <laughs> All right, now that we got this bad boy zeroed in, you can see that looks good enough for me. Put one up there. But now we're gonna switch over to our infinity target here that they sent out. So that way we can just keep spray painting over and just dump through the 500 rounds. So let's get to shooting. So Infinity Targets did send these out here. And one of the coolest things, especially for this, is all you have to do is spray paint over and you can see your hits again. Good to go. So far, no malfunctions. You can see that there is a little bit of grime starting to build up on that front barrel, but that's because of that compensator, which does definitely help with recoil. Only other thing is on the optic here, you can see that's getting nice and dirty, but I did lubricate it pretty heavy with the liquid drip, so I wanted to make sure this runs. But other than that, we're good to go. Let's keep shooting and see what happens. slide has locked back every single time so far. No malfunctions. All right, let's get back to shooting. Very basic thing, but one thing I love is whenever you have the full magazine and you insert it, the slide automatically goes forward every time. Pretty cool. So right now we're about 300 rounds in here, not a single malfunction, but 
To change things up here, because I'm getting a little bit bored, I do have a P365XL. This is my current carry gun. And again, we're gonna see if this is gonna replace it. But the big difference on these two setups here is the grip is bigger on the X macro that we're shooting, as well as we have a compensator on the X macro. So I thought it'd be fun to shoot these one after another to see if we can actually tell a difference. First up, let's shoot the P365XL and the mags do go in here. It just looks a little goofy on the bottom. All right, and then let's switch over to the X macro right away. Oh yeah. For me personally, can definitely tell a difference. This guy is a lot more snappier. You need a tighter grip. This one's a little bit more forgiving. You can have a looser grip, or if you're drawing and you didn't quite get a good grip, that compensator is gonna help you. Love it, pretty cool. All right, let's get back to mag dumping this thing. See how good I'm getting. Oh yeah. All right, we're on the last 100 here. Let's load them up and get them in. Well, that was actually all the ammo. I thought I had one box left and I came to film for that, but empty, empty, empty. All of these ones empty, so that's 500 rounds. All right, so that's all 500 rounds on the P365X macro. Overall, what's the verdict here? Out of the 500 rounds, we had zero malfunctions, which is awesome. Also, I wanna point out that every single time the slide did lock back when the uh, magazine was empty. So that was pretty awesome too. Overall, pff, 11 out of 10. I am absolutely gonna be carrying this gun. And also it was cool seeing the side-by-side -side with the P365XL here. Definitely a big difference with the recoil mitigation with this compensator. Also, one other thing to point out here is on our optic, you can see I did mark it here. So those screws did not come undone as well. And I didn't even adjust these from the factory. So this is factory from SIG, the red dot came on it. So that's awesome to see they either blue Loctited it or put it down to spec and that didn't come off. Real quick, let's take a look at the gun here to see what the wear is on it. You can see our mags are dirty now, but that is good. And I will say these mags that came with it, these two are the new ones, um, nice and dirty. These did need to get breaking in or broken in because it was hard to get that 17th round in on both of these. But by the end, after cycling these, now they are a lot easier to load. And actually let's take it apart real quick, see what the inside looks like. So here we go. Here's what the inside now looks like. So on the back, you can see the wear right here on the frame, a little bit there, but that's gonna clean up nicely. So not too bad there. And then also on the inside here, just a lot of grime built up here. Overall, like normally you'll see a bunch of like wear right here, right here. For 500 rounds, there is not a whole lot of wear. And yeah, overall, pretty impressed here. Definitely gonna be carrying this. I will clean this though for the next 500 rounds because I always like to keep my carry guns clean. But overall, absolutely love it. One last important thing here. Again, we gotta thank CheapGunClub.com for the ammo. Without them, this would not have been possible. So if you need ammo, which I would highly recommend getting because it is an election year and prices are probably gonna go up, go check out CheapGunClub.com. Get yourself some ammo and get yourself some training. Until next time, have fun shooting and we'll see you soon. Thanks everybody.